After adding material and labor pricing to your conditions, you can finalize your bid costs by entering lump sum bids from any subcontractors you're working with, costs for any equipment, such as cranes, lifts, or scaffolding you might need to rent, and costs for general conditions, such as job setup or security and parking on the job site. Then you'll move to the Markups tab, where you can analyze all of the cost information you've added so far. At the top, you'll see the name of your bid and its total cost. Below that is a breakdown of your bid cost by CSI section number. QuickBid uses CSI section numbers to filter and group information. So as you review these costs, you can look at the bid globally and then examine each cost individually. During that review, you'll want to check out the pie chart to the right. QuickBid puts all of your costs into one of five categories, material, labor, subs, equipment, and other. The pie chart shows what percentage of your bid is assigned to each category. Most of your money will likely be in the material and labor categories. If you know your typical labor to material ratio, you can compare that to the chart to see how this job stacks up. You can also view the chart section by section by selecting one of the CSI section numbers listed below your base bid. Let's move to the middle of the screen now, where you can get an even more detailed look at your bid. You can see details for the whole bid or each individual section. This breakdown shows your dollar amounts for each of the five categories mentioned earlier, material, labor, subs, equipment, and other. It also shows other aspects of your bid, such as escalation, tax and labor burden, overhead, and profit. You can add or adjust those percentages here, and they apply to this bid only. Or you can set some global defaults that apply to all of your bids. Let's move to the bottom of the screen now. This is where you can add any additional markups, such as owner allowances, contingencies, or bond expenses. Typically, these are added as percentages of the bid total or as a straight dollar amount. Your grand total, including all aspects of your bid, is shown at the bottom of the screen. For more information on the Markups tab, including setting program defaults for overhead and profit, explore our full training video library, or contact us to schedule live training.